This is a stick-like grasshopper known as a Peruvian jumping stick. It had recently shed its exoskeleton, but one of the zookeepers noticed a problem with the area resembling its neck. A crease formed around her neck area and caused her head to flop around and she was unable to climb onto branches. The vets at the zoo quickly devised a plan and built a makeshift neck brace for the tiny patient using q-tips and tape. Their plan worked as a few days later, the neck brace was removed and she was able to support her own head again. This is a photo of NASA's latest message in a bottle, planned to reach Jupiter's moon Europa in October. The front of the message includes a poem from Ada Lemon called A Poem for Europa and a picture of a bottle floating in the ocean, at the center of which holds a microchip with over 2.6 million publicly submitted names. It also includes an engraving of the Drake Equation, a picture of one of the founders of planetary science, Ron Greeley, and a visual representation of the frequencies considered possible for interstellar communication. The backside includes the waveforms of the word water in 103 different languages. Scotland is making rewilding progress. After being ranked as one of the most nature-depleted countries on Earth, new figures show that with the help of farmers, community groups and landowners, 2.1% of Scotland is rewilding. The Scottish Rewilding Alliance has also called on the Scottish Government to pledge to restore nature across 30% of sea and land. Half a century ago, bald eagles were on the brink of extinction, with only a few hundred pairs left in North America. Since then, their population has steadily grown, and for the first time ever, they are recorded to be nesting in Toronto, Canada. The Don River, located in Toronto, was declared dead in 1969. However, after investing billions to restore its health, there has been an increase in wildlife in the surrounding area, which is partly responsible for attracting the eagles. Scientists studying coral restoration have recently discovered that artificial restored reefs can regrow after just four years since plantation. This monumental discovery will help environmentalists to rebuild damaged coral ecosystems. Over half a billion people depend on coral reefs for various reasons and the restoration thereof will help keep the ocean's acidic levels natural. 